As their name implies, hearing dogs have a very special job to do. They listen out for important and life-saving sounds and then alert their deaf partners to them. Sounds like the smoke alarm, the oven timer and even baby monitors and intruder alarms. This has a huge impact on deaf people's lives and has even saved lives. Teaching a dog to alert people to sounds takes a lot of patience, but is made easier by building upon what they've already learned. Teaching a dog to respond to sounds relies on them already having a very strong bond with their trainer, a solid training foundation, and them finding everything as fun and stimulating as possible. We've been following adorable puppies Kai the Labrador and Leo the Cocker Spaniel on their journeys to becoming superstar hearing dogs. But just how does a cute puppy learn how to alert people to sounds? So we teach the puppies something called targeting, um, which is to touch something with their nose. Um, we sometimes do it with our hand to start with, so we just hold the hand out and if the puppy comes to sniff the hand, we'll reward them for approaching the hand and targeting it. Um, and that becomes a behaviour that the, the puppy enjoys, so that they see the hand, they come and touch it with their nose and they get given a treat for it. The point of this is so that the dogs learn to target something with their nose in order to teach them an alert behaviour. So as a hearing dog, they have to alert their recipient by usually by nudging them with their nose if there's a sound going off. So if they can nudge different objects to start with, um, it develops that dog's confidence to do a behaviour that's completely novel to a dog. Um, with Kai, we introduced him to a sticky note and he would approach that to sniff it and we'd just reward him. Um, and we started off just sticking that in different places, so maybe it's on the floor or on the, a wall or a chair, so that you just approach that object and target it. And that's how we introduced it. Our expert dog training staff and dedicated volunteer trainers do a fantastic job in teaching our dogs how to alert to sounds. It's an ongoing process and by consistently working with the dogs over the course of a few months, taking things at a pace that the dogs feel completely comfortable with and making things as fun as possible for the dogs, we can be sure that at the end of their training journeys, our dogs are highly trained and will be exceptionally reliable in alerting their deaf partners to sounds, as well as being friendly and loving companions. If he's passed his two-star, then he knows all his basic commands and he knows them well. So you, as well as his longer waits and everything else, you can start to add in things, is I think how I view it. I can't, I can't really place no, it. No, You just fair. know where. Yeah. Um, but something like a, a nudge, because we're now on our fifth full-time dog, I find without even thinking about it, as soon as we have a puppy, if I walk past the puppy and I think, well not even think about it, it's an automatic, I'll put my hand out, say touch, and touch their nose. I don't expect anything back, but instead of just scrabbling his head, I might just do that sometimes. So they grow up with that, and then all of a sudden, one day, I'll change that to, let's do a nudge now. Kai and Leo still have a way to go before they'll be completely ready to live with a deaf person, alerting them to sounds every day. But they're doing brilliantly and are still very eager to learn. Because every aspect of our training from the very beginning is specifically designed to be incredibly fun for the dogs. They see it all as a big game and they genuinely love doing what they do. When our dogs are alerting people to sounds, they have a very similar demeanor as dogs do when they're playing fetch with a ball or being told, walkies. We see lots and lots of wagging tails on a daily basis. Dogs are capable of amazing things. And as a charity that transforms the lives of thousands of deaf people every year, we are incredibly proud of what our dogs do. And an interesting story was the other day I was out here putting my boots on to take him for a walk and when, I'm, when he wants to go for a walk he is totally focused on me, he's like an inch from me the whole time and suddenly he just disappeared and what it was was my next door neighbour was having a barbecue and had set a cooker timer which I hadn't heard but he'd heard it and he ran straight into Sharon to tell her. We know that by putting in the time and effort and making sure our dogs always feel safe, comfortable and happy, that we will end up with lots of well-adjusted dogs that will help deaf people to leave loneliness behind and reconnect with life.
Keep an eye out for the next episode of Hearing Dogs TV. You'll get an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at how we train our adorable puppies that will go on to help deaf people to leave loneliness behind and reconnect with life.